Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share two fall themed paper bag mini albums. I used celebrated paper bags in the craft color, um, but I did use the 4.7 by 2.8 by 8.9 bags. I get these at Michael's. Um, some of you have asked me to do a tutorial from start to finish on the paper, the Halloween paper bag albums I just made, and these are similar in style. They're really easy to do, um, so I will get that done for you hopefully this week. I used paper from this paper stack, Natural Botanical. Got this, and that's from the paper studio. So I got this at Hobby Lobby. Really pretty fall colors, and you know it has really pretty leaf patterns and stuff to it. And I made the covers on these very similar to my file folder, one that I made for my brother and sister-in-law. So this one says Fabulous Fall. I have papers um, behind it stacked up. Everything's on dimensionals. I have some pearls in the corners. I have this acorn I paper paste with my Cricut, one of my pumpkins, and then I have other leaves and like acorns, a sunflower, apple stickers, just kind of all layered in here. It's bound with um, brown tool. There's gold. It's kind of a shimmery tool. I added to it and also some brown and orange fun fibers and it has a ribbon closure. I'm going to be making um, similar, some more similar paper bag albums this week. So like I said, I'll try and get a tutorial done for you. They're really simple. This style is really simple. There's not a lot of interaction. So if you're just starting out, um, it'll be so easy for you to follow. And I just like to make them because they're fun. And <laughs> So that's why I made these pretty simple. So anyway, you just open this up. And this is the first page, really nice area for a photo. And by the way, they measure, let me, let me grab this, for about four and a half by four and a half, approximately. Okay. Um, so it's really nice area for a photo. And then over here I made a pocket and I put one of these scarecrows. Oh, my camera's blurry. There we go. Isn't he cute? I picked these up at um, Hobby Lobby, and I'll show you. They're both extremely similar. Same papers, same little guys. Aren't they cute? And oh, the first page has a the paper bag part, which has the pocket and the pullout. Same thing with this one up here. So I'm just gonna kind of paper through made a belly band on this page here one of my handmade embellishments in the center it's apples and cider and then tucked in another photo mat and then the white enamel that you see the enamel dots there I used this um, dimensional white enamels from Ink Essentials which is a Ranger product. And then we have another one of those paper bag openings that has another photo mat. Same over here. I used for my pool tab on the photo mats, I used my smaller um, Fiskars scallop punch. I think this one measures about an inch across. Let me quick because um, it doesn't have, it's about a little less than an inch across, okay? Um, and I picked that one up at Joann's, I think, but I use that for my pull tab. And then on this page, we have a nice area for a photo again, okay? And then pocket over here, tucked in two more photo mats. Oh, I don't know if I showed you the photo maps on the first pocket. No, I didn't. 
Okay, nice photo mats here. This edge for the edges here, I use this corner punch that I've had, oh my gosh, since probably, I'm gonna say well over 10 years. Um, this one is from Creative Memories. So I use that on the corners, and then this one, to make it look like a, a big ticket, I just used my one inch circle punch and punched out the corners. Okay, so that's what I did there. You guys saw this page. This is the pocket. And then up here I have a handmade embellishment that I made well, quite a while ago. And then this has a corner pocket with leaves and one of those acrylic leaves I had gotten at Michael's quite a while ago. Same thing here. And then another nice big photo mat. Okay, nice area for photo over here. And then we have one of those side pockets again. Another photo mat. So it has a lot of room for nice size photos. Then we have these two pages with pockets. And like I said, the papers are both similar, but like this handmade embellishment, I use like a squirrel sticker with the three leaves and a little gem down here that says family. And then this one, I used an owl sticker with the leaves and the gems and family. So that's, you know, the only difference. And then same, um, same pull out tags or photo mats. And then we have nice area for our photo. And I did a side belly band with one of my handmade pumpkin embellishments. And nice photo mat again. And then this belly band, I used my Martha Stewart edge punch or border punch. Okay, and then we have one of those bag, paper bag pockets with a pull-out mat for photos. And then the last pages here, another pocket, and this is a pumpkin embellishment that I hand stamped, colored in the pumpkins, and then put the pearls on, and the pumpkin here. I made those Ugh, I want to say last year. I might have did them. I put a little shimmer on the pumpkin with my jelly roll pen too. And then these two pockets house more tags. Okay. And then this is the back of both of the albums. So both of these are in my store. If you guys are interested, I will post a link below. And like I said, I am going to be doing um, a tutorial to show you how to put these together. They're really simple and fun. And then once you get the hang of it, you can make your own interactive pages. You know, just go to town designing them however you'd like. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You take care and have a great day.